So I'm dating someone. Yeah. And she's so cool. <laughs> Katie, wherever you are, you're so cool. You're so cool. The only other thing LeBron James would wear on his jersey other than number 23 is your face. <laughs> and when I saw your face for the first time, I felt a nip in my butt, and that nip was frostbite because you are so cool. <laughs> the night of our first date, it was so cool. It was 20 degrees below zero. I took you down to a beach because I thought you'd feel comfortable because of how cool you are. So cool that they're gonna change the Kelvin temperature scale to the Katie scale, which is 273 degrees below zero degrees Celsius when all kinetic energy stops. Which explains why my heart stopped when we kissed for the first time that night. And I want to be clear that you are way cooler than Elsa or Anna. This is not Frozen. Even though I can't seem to let this metaphor go, it's not just to get Olaf, it's to show people how cool you are. The reason why I play soccer once a week is so that I can stay fit and one day finish climbing this mountain to get on your level. I want to be on your level, babe. You are on the top of Mount Everest and guess what? It's so cool up there! You're so cool that when the Sephora employee was color matching you, I saw her finger touch her face, part of it froze and fell off, and as she swept it behind the counter, I heard her say under her breath, I long to be like her. <laughs> and I think that I'm water in this metaphor, not just because I get really emotional and I cry a lot, but because water is the only substance that expands when it freezes, because oxygen bubbles get caught within the ice, so when we hug, you make me catch my breath. You are so cool, babe. But, the other night, when I had to poop at your apartment, and I put the tap on so you wouldn't hear me poop, and I came out, and you told me that you could, that you could hear me poop, and you laughed, and you laughed, 